So, if you talk about the types of nuclear reaction, we got spallation reaction, nuclear fission reaction, under that we got mechanism of fission, energy released and nuclear power generator. And afterwards I am going to talk about the nuclear fusion under that hydrogen bomb. Here is the spallation reaction. You are able to see the fusion here and you are able to see the fission here. The first one as I indicated I am going to talk about this palation reaction. These are the reactions in which a high speed projectiles may chip a heavy nucleus into smaller fragments. Copper with atomic number of 29 and 63 with the helium and uh, you got a 400 mega electron volt of energy which may produce uh, chlorine and proton and neutron. That is referred to as palation reaction. Here is the nuclear fission reaction. Nuclear fission is the process in which a heavy nucleus breaks up into two lighter nuclei of almost equal size with the release of an enormous amount of energy. This type of nuclear fission reaction was first observed by German chemist Otto Hahn, Strassmann and Meitner by bombarding the uranium-235 with the slow moving neutrons. The process is usually accomplished by the emission of neutron. The nuclear fission have been produced in heavy nuclei such as uranium-235, 238 and thorium-232 by neutrons, protons and deutrons. Mechanism of fission in the fission process, the heavy nucleus absorbs a neutron and forms an unstable compound nucleus. The compound nucleus then breaks up more or less in the middle to give fission product. This is a fission product. Here is a nuclear power reactor. A nuclear reactor or nuclear power generator is a kind of furnace for in carrying out the controlled fission of a radioactive material like uranium-235 for producing power. You are able to see the nuclear fission reaction in nuclear power generator. You are able to see the control rods, the reactor and reactor water. The core of the nuclear reactor produces heat through nuclear fission. Heavy water at a very high pressure takes heat away from the core. Here is the one. In the heat exchanger, the heavy water inside the reactor gives up its heat to water outside the reactor, which boils to form steam. The steam is taken away to drive turbines that make electricity here. So here is the typical example under real time nuclear reactors located in Kalpakam and the other one is at Kolangram. So this is how the nuclear reactors are. So nuclear fusion reaction, when lighter nuclei moving at a very high speed and fuse together to form a heavy nucleus. This process is called nuclear fusion. In fusion reaction the mass of the heavier nucleus is less than the total mass of the two lighter nuclei. Thus just like a fission reaction. The source of energy in a fusion reaction is also the disappearance of mass which gets converted into energy.
Here is a typical example. I got my deuterium with a tritium will provide you helium and neutron and plus energy. Nuclear fusion reaction takes place at a very high temperature of about 10 power 8 Kelvin. Therefore, this reaction is called a thermonuclear reaction. The mass loss is equal to 0 0.018 AMU atomic mass unit. And the corresponding energy release is 1.79 into 10 power 9 kilojoules per mole. 